Hi, I'm Michelle. A particle accelerator is the fruit of many advanced scientific technologies. The Takumi that we're going to meet today has developed a device that is used in the heart of the accelerator. Called an electromagnetic horn, this device is shaped like two trumpets put together. Not only is it big, but it requires high precision to make. The Takumi's company is located in Otsuchi, Iwate Prefecture. The town was heavily damaged by the tsunami during the Great East Japan Earthquake in 2011. The Takumi's company specializes in making race car engines, semiconductor manufacturing equipment, and precise metalworking. Hello. Hello. I'm Michelle Yamamoto. I'm Ishii, the factory manager. Welcome. The Takumi we came to see today is Shinichi Ishii. He made the electromagnetic horn aluminum conductor. He is an expert in metalworking. The electromagnetic horns have already been delivered. Here is the electromagnetic horn conductor that the Takumi made. Electromagnetic horns send out an electrical current through the conductor and produce a magnetic field so that the particles converge in one direction. The electromagnetic horn conductor is completed by joining five separate pieces together in four places, but the welding process presented the greatest difficulty. The electromagnetic horn aluminum conductor is only three millimeters thick. Conventional welding methods would cause the surrounding areas to warp, and they weren't able to achieve a precision of less than one millimeter. So the Takumi used a special method to weld the pieces together. This is a friction stir welding machine. With this machine, Metal can be welded with high precision. Friction stir welding was invented by a British company. With this method, a pointed tool is placed on the junction. It's then rotated at a high speed while force is applied and the area is softened by frictional heat. The tool's rotating motion also mixes the two materials together. Because the material is welded at a temperature below its melting point, there's almost no deformation. To raise the welding precision, the Takumi came up with the idea of changing the length of the tool's tip and dividing the welding process into two steps. The area over which the rotor has passed is the junction that was welded with the friction stir welding method. Yet, the electromagnetic horn conductor presented an unexpected difficulty. The problem was in the aluminum sheet's thickness. Because the sheets were only three millimeters thick, even friction stir welding caused it to warp. I had a hard time solving this problem. Because force is applied to the junction during friction stir welding, the thin metal sheets would bend. After much thought, this is the solution that he came up with. This is a jig. I'm afraid I can't tell what this does just by looking at it. Can you tell me what it's used for? Electromagnetic horns are shaped like a tube, so you insert this into the tube. The joint comes here, so when force is applied, this piece supports it and keeps it from bending. The Takumi created a special jig that supports the junction from the inside while it's being welded from the outside. And he also made a jig that supports the horn's conductor from the outside so that it doesn't tilt over. The Takumi's company was the first in Japan to create an electromagnetic horn conductor of this size all on their own. We don't mass produce our products, and they're all built to order. There are times when we receive a plan that seems too difficult. 
But the smile on my client's face when I accomplish it and the thought that it's going to benefit society brings me great joy. But what exactly is machining using ultrasonic waves? We had Take show us how it works. He switches on the machine. It doesn't seem to be moving at all. 